Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali from Ahmed Acrylics, and today we're going to make a very nice, beautiful winter mountain scenery. So the colors I'm going to be using to make my background are the following. The first one's going to be pastel lavender, the second one's going to be pastel periwinkle, Naples yellow, and then pastel pumpkin. These colors look really nice together to make a nice wintry look, but believe it or not, I actually messed up right in the beginning of this video, forgive me. So I'm actually going to change the background quite a bit. So don't mind the cut too much, but all I really did was add more lavender and then more periwinkle, and that's all. I also noticed that I wanted my painting to be less orangey and more like yellowy, so I added more pastel Naples yellow and I'm blending it into the periwinkle. So even the orange at the bottom I wasn't a huge fan of, so I'm adding more Naples yellow to kind of just give it more of a yellowy tone. So to be honest, in the beginning of the video, if you want, I would suggest to use just a bit of pastel pumpkin. And then I wanted the blue at the top to be just a bit stronger, so I'm adding pastel cerulean to blend into the lavender and then into the periwinkle. I apologize for the shaky camera, I don't have my normal tripod, so forgive me for this video. What you see me doing here is actually just outlining the mountains on where I kind of want them to be. And this really helps me visualize how the mountains will look like after. So you can see that the first mountain I actually like, so I'm actually going to fill it out. And you don't need to mind too much about the bottom, that's going to be covered later on. But then with the first mountain that we made, I kind of feel like it's a bit too small, so I'm actually going to double it in size, and then I'm going to proceed to fill it out. And once it's semi-dried, what you actually want to do is section it so you know where the shadow is going to be and you know where the snow is going to be. So the color I'm using is pastel lavender, and I'm picking one side to highlight more than the other. And then before it's dried, you want to take white and go over the section you went before where there was more highlight, just to give it even more highlight. And don't worry, this is only the first layer. And you might be wondering why I'm tapping like this, it's kind of just to give it more texture and you're going to see later on this looks really nice when it's complete. Once you're satisfied with that the way you like it, what you're going to do now is wait for it to dry and once it's fully dry we're going to start adding texture. So what you can see me doing here is taking a very small brush, having white on it with zero water and I'm kind of just poking at it to give it that texture look. You can see that I'm dragging, I'm poking, I'm doing a bunch of different things because I kind of want it to be random. Same thing with the other mountain, I'm doing random pokes, random strokes, nothing's like a pattern, it's kind of just random. And to make it even like pointier, what you can do is lift it up as you just saw what I did, and just make random shapes. You can see how fast the mountain starts to change and it actually looks like a snowy mountain. Here I'm basically just fixing the other side where the shadow is because I just feel like I didn't do the best job so I'm just going to readjust it. But since I readjust it I might have to readjust the white part. So if you ever do readjust the shadow part don't forget to readjust the white part. <laughs> Jeez, say that 10 times fast. So 
So yeah, I'm just trying to fix my mistakes, taking pastel lavender and just reapplying it. Now this is a pretty fun part too, so first take some tape and put it on the mountain so you don't get it on the mountain. And then what we want to kind of do is make an icy, snowy field. That's kind of the look I was going for. So if you want to do that, you have to take the colors you used for your sky and kind of add white to it since it's ice, right? So it's going to be much lighter and kind of make the reflection just based off that. So whatever color you use for the sky, try to correspond it with more white and then make that for your ice. So here I'm using periwinkle, but it has a lot more white in it. And then I'm taking pastel lavender, but I'm adding a lot of white to it as well. And you can see that it kind of gives off that icy effect. Now there's going to be a bit of adjustment for me. I'm going to add a lot more periwinkle to it, as you just saw. But you don't have to do this. It's just, just based off what I want. So once you're done with that, now we're going to kind of add the snowy effect. So take white, take a brush that's pretty flat and then start making these streaks. The trick to make it look snowy is that the moment you feel like the white runs out, take more white and then do it again. That's gonna give you that kind of clumpy look and that's kind of what you wanna go for. Or else it's gonna kinda of look like water and you don't really want that, unless that's the look you're going for, but me personally, I was going for a icy, snowy look. So now what I'm going to do is take pastel cerulean and do it more towards the sides. This is kind of just for the shadow of the snow and this is going to make it look a lot more realistic. So you can do what I'm doing right here where I'm basically shifting it from left to right and this is going to give it that streaky look. And then in the middle of that you're going to add your white and this is going to give it that shadowy snowy look. On certain spots you can see that I'm kind of poking the snow too just because I want it to look like it's actual snow so you can do the same technique if you'd like. This painting wouldn't be the same without snow, so that's what I'm basically adding right here. I'm taking a brush and then flicking some snow onto the canvas. And you know, you could always make mistakes, it's okay, they're easily fixable. So don't worry about that too much. And there you have it guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is my first time making a winter scenery, so I hope you guys like it. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help out my channel. My Instagram and TikTok are in the description below. So if you do remake this, please tag me. I would love to see it. Ciao, guys, in a bit.